What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk some Ondo, right? Ondo is a crypto that I think a lot of people still have not seen on their radar. Uh, I don't know how many people on YouTube are actually looking for some Ondo coverage, some Ondo content, but hey, cheers. Happy Thursday. Let's get into the weekend and let's talk some Ondo uh, as we get further into it, okay? So um, the big thing about them is what is Ondo? I mean, let's just get into the number one question, okay? Uh, you have to look at some of the massive returns that Ondo investors uh, have been experiencing. And we'll talk about the Ondo, <clears throat> basically Ondo Finance and what they look to do within their foundation, all right? And that's kind of what, you know, we look into uh, within crypto. It, it seems to be this shift that we're seeing within, you know, some of the subsectors within crypto, right? AI, gaming, uh, real world um tokenization of assets, okay? Uh, there's a list that's just growing and growing, and I think uh, your normal mom and pop uh, crypto trader has no clue what's going on. Uh, quite frankly, I think that's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I know a lot of people who are ignorant and naive uh, to the crypto world, but they have become millionaires because of crypto. Uh, so it's a mixed bag out there. Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, make sure you guys all subscribe down below, smash that like button, and let's get down into it, okay? Uh, there's a lot of things, though, that we need to talk about uh, within Ondo, and we're going to get into some of these, uh, this article, if you will, where we look into some of the factors that go into Ondo having a price prediction with all-time highs coming. So let's hit it. Uh, let's look into some of the charts, the graphs, and what they do, okay? Uh, and here is a little bit of a dive into their website, uh, Ondo.Foundation. Check it out. A lot of good stuff on there um, if you want to learn more about what Ondo actually does. Uh, very techy, uh, but like I said, it is a kind of a huge in in one form or fashion a ecosystem that is uh, under the radar in my opinion and uh, kind of a sleeping giant as we move forward into the potential for the next bull cycle. All right, uh, but if you do want to trade on some leverage, uh, today's channel sponsor is Margex. I'll put a link down below in the description. Uh, use my link down below. Sign up for the chance to claim up to ten thousand dollars in bonuses. Uh, very simple to do. A lot of users have been having extreme success uh, leverage trading Bitcoin, Ethereum uh, within these high times that we're seeing. Uh, all of your favorite cryptos are out there. Um, no KYC. Um, and like I said, links down below if you want to get signed up after doing your uh, own research and due diligence. Okay. Uh, but let's talk a little bit these all time highs for Ondo. Okay. We've seen a 15% rally after Bitcoin got back up to 69.5. And since the start of the week, Ondo's up 19%. So a crazy surge of activity. Now we look at some more of the bullish activity that's piggybacking off of Bitcoin, uh, right? Um, and, you know, some of these TA numbers, and, and I'm not going to act like I'm, I'm some, you know, bull on the chart uh, where uh, I can tell you guys exactly what's going to happen. Nobody has that crystal ball. We can name all these indicators and, and lines and levels and, and things we're going to look at, and that's all fine and dandy, but uh, it just all stems back to we need the investors, we need the demand, uh, and the buying pressure, and that's how we're going to get the chart to move, okay? Uh, so right now we're looking at Ondo, and this is probably one of the bigger things I look at with NTA. 58% um, above its 100-day moving average, okay? That's very bullish, all right? Uh, we have not even seen any flattening of this trend, uh, despite seeing a little bit of a dip uh, when we had its all-time high at $1.48 down to $1.17. Uh, so Ondo around a dollar. If we can drop down, uh, say even if we get down, I mean, Ondo at 80 cents uh, was something where I was kicking myself uh, for not buying Ondo at that price level. Uh, we were consolidating very nicely, and we since broke out uh, from 80 cents up to roughly about $1.32 where we're at trading uh, kind of right now, but we did hit all-time highs at $1.48. Okay, so um, what we get into within this price prediction is the fact that uh, the EMAs remain steady, coupled with the price action above the baseline. Uh, that's even giving more of an indication that Onda is poised to continue its upward trend, okay? Uh, if we fall below all this, that's where you get into the bearish counter argument uh, to this price prediction, okay? Uh, and some more of the key on-chain indicators for bullishness, Okay, that's kind of what we look at, unique users, uh, growing adoption, all right, the, and the unique receivers, uh, that's kind of what we have seen increasing. So some of the on-chain activity, very bullish. Um, more people are catching on. That's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, higher transfer amounts. Uh, we're seeing a lot more transactional volumes. 
Um, these are all things I look for when I want to know when a crypto is starting to brew, okay? Um, but that's what it comes down to for Ondo. Like I said, um, check out their website. Um, it, it's something where personally I have to do more as well. There's just way too many cryptos out there. Uh, I was late to the party on this one, but I felt it was needed to share with you guys what exactly Ondo is doing. Um, and here at dollar twenty nine, if we go into their yearly chart, you can see this is very bullish, gradual trend up, and all time highs um, that we hit back in dollar forty eight. So, uh, haven't had a bull cycle. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, Ondo continues to trend upwards, uh, and that's how we're looking at this crypto, right? Uh, and in terms of a ranking, uh, I'll get you guys kind of looking at this from a market cap perspective, number 55 in the top 100. So kind of in that sweet spot, right? Um, I talked to you guys a lot about that sweet spot in crypto of projects that I'm looking to get invested in. Uh, and it's usually in that 25 to say 100 ballpark, that range where uh, you could find some extreme value at a lower price point uh, that uh, and bank on them eventually getting to, into the top 25. So um, that's what I got. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember, not financial advice. Always do your research and due diligence. But I thank you guys once more. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.